So a common question I get asked is, how long will it take to go from 18% body fat down to 10% body fat? Um, and for context, this I believe is around 18%. If you think, or at least this shot is definitely 18%. If you think I am leaner, it's just I have thick, blocky abs. I've done about a million sit-ups in the army, so that's that's why I may look leaner. But I believe we're sat around 18%. So how long will this take? That's what we're going to cover in this video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tom Sergi. I run the Gorilla Platoon, which is an online physique tra transformation program, where we get results like this. And uh, we had another one come out today, which I'll do a video on tomorrow, and we'll get his picture up onto the board as well. So this uh, video was inspired from a viewer, and he said, I'm struggling to go from 17-18% body fat to around 13 or 14 I mean, obviously he wants to go to 10. I should hope not just stop at 13 or 14. How long is it going to take? I already lost 8 kg. And now I'm sitting at 70 kg. Still on the deficit third month. I feel flat, fat. And when will I start to see real changes? So the first thing I would say is if you've lost 8 kilograms and you were 17 or 18% body fat, I don't think you estimated that quite correctly. Because you can expect that 0 0.8 of a kilogram will equate to 1% of body fat drop. And you can drop that off in a week. So to go from, let's say, even 18 down to 13, you should be able to knock off in around about five weeks, maybe six. But pretty much like you're going to knock off a kilo a week. So if you've been dieting for, well, you've lost eight kilos already, <clears throat> it tells me you either lost muscle, which tells me you're not training hard enough. And if that's the case, go and watch my video on how to know if you are training hard enough and just look at the speed of the last repetition. In summary, it wants to be about three to four seconds on the way back up across every set. If you haven't lost muscle and you have lost body fat, and of course, don't get me wrong, first kilo that comes off, probably a bit of inflammation, probably some water weight. Um, but even still, if you've lost eight kilos, you should at least be sat at around 11 if you started at 18, uh, which tells me that you probably just overestimated where you thought you were. Ultimately, if you can't see your abs yet, you're not 10% body fat, as, as you well know. But you want to go from 13 to 14 anyway. That, from where you're at at 18, should honestly take like four weeks, if that. When you say, I feel flat, what you mean is, well, it's fine that you should feel flat and you will feel flat because you're going to be in a calorie deficit. Your carbohydrate intake may be, well, it will be less than what you would want it to be. Therefore, do that over eight weeks and you will start to feel flat, like glycogen has uh, left the muscle. It's not an issue. You can start to run a high carb day with that. Uh, I, I, but if, again, if you're, if you're, if you're 14% body fat, I won't be running a high carb day. Really, once you get down to around 12, then you start to do that and that's to get you down towards the 10 um, but I wouldn't be running a high day just yet. Just push through the flatness. It's, it's a necessary thing. You will feel skinny. You will feel flat. It's just what's needed to get that next little bit of body fat off. You still feel fat because there's still body fat there. So ultimately, you need to create that negative energy balance. Uh, I did read that you were r running, on a, sec a separate comment, uh, like 1,900 calories. Don't go so low with, with, with that amount of food. Um, try to push up your output through cardio first create the deficit that way in summary it should take you to pretty much i my 12 week transformations are generally people that have gone from 18 down to 10 percent we've done it in eight we've done it in nine but if you start at 17 and 18 percent body fat the way i like to run it is uh, and, and just it, guys for if, if you are 17 or 18 thinking well how do i approach this this would be my actionable steps to you start just below maintenance calories sit at that for six weeks because you're 17 or 18% body fat, you can rip a kilo off per week. So at least for four or five weeks, you can sit just below maintenance. From there, you're going to give yourself enough food to drive performance in the gym. Therefore, your numbers will increase. Train like a fucking psychopath. Give that muscle a reason to grow. Now, with that, you're going to walk 10K steps. And you're going to leave cardio out for the time being. When you've ra ran that for five weeks, you're then going to be aggressive to get the body fat off. So then what you're going to do is pull calories down and make sure you're pulling off one kilogram every week. If you're not, take from food, 200 calories. If you're not, take uh, increase through cardio, 20 minutes daily, 30 minutes daily, 
40 minutes daily until you get down towards the goal. If you're not seeing changes, it's because your deficit is not great enough for your body to make those changes. That is the long and short of it. And you would just rinse that out until you get to the goal. So honestly, in this guy's situation, he probably started too high in body fat, overestimating it. Great job on losing the eight kilo. I I really will say that, unless it was muscle. Make sure you are training hard enough. You still are going to have to diet. If you feel flat, honestly, suck it up and then push through... uh, this phase and get that body fat off until you're at least lean and flat run a high carb day uh, which I've done plenty of videos on and then you're, you're going to keep fill yourself up drink yourself flat until you're at the goal point of 10% body fat and that is how I would approach it so hopefully you found it useful if you did great submit your own questions in and I will respond to them uh, in a video this is a little bit of a um, niche question you could say but uh, if you think they're going to be uh, generally good questions and most people struggle with them Fire them in, answer them, uh, and then we'll take it from there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.